hello youtubers this is Tushar Khan from India today I am going to give you a small review about Linux over HP G6 2313AX this machine is basically an AMD A10 based machine which is available over the flip card so that you can easily buy it online uh, so the basic details or the spec specifications of this particular laptops is shown in their website itself you can see here it's an HP brand it's of uh, pavilion model G series basically a gaming laptop so the thing here is it possess AMD A10 quad core processor which comes with an integrated graphic card plus a dedicated graphic card also here you can see so the total memory is 2.5 GB means the dedicated graphic memory the graphic processor comes of 512 MB as AMD Radeon SD 7660Z as an integrated one and the 2 GB ATI Mobility Radeon 7670M SD graphics so to install this particular thing over your Linux based machine you have to follow some of the basic configurations which are shown in this particular website this is one of the official website of AMD which tells you of how to install AMD or ATI based graphic drivers over your Linux machine so I had just summarized the, the particular steps basically first of all you have to download the latest Linux driver for your graphic card from the AMD official site then execute the following commands these are some of the commands which you have to follow or you have to type or you can simply copy paste it it's in the it's in the description itself so after installing basically you have to restart your system then to check whether the particular thing is working or not you have to go type amd config minus minus pxl to list current activated gpu basically i had put it in power saving mode so it's showing integrated gpu is active so the discrete gpu is perfect uh, is uh, currently switched off you can change which graphic processor you want it to activate or not so the for after basically activating the integrated or the discrete GPU you have to restart your X servers so to re do that just control plus alt plus backspace so these are the three things which are related to the driver itself now the third thing is this Jupiter what this Jupiter is Jupiter is basically a lightweight power and hardware control applet this is basically designed to improve your battery life of a portable Linux computer by integrating with the operating system and changing the parameters of the computer based on battery and power connection this basically improves your battery plus it reduces the heat produced by your laptop or your AMD machine so here you can see it's there I had already installed it to install just type in the following commands and you will be come up with this particular applet so here it's showing temperature is 51 degrees centigrade you can switch the performance mode from here you can switch off enable disable your Wi-Fi or touchpad you can change the screen resolutions screen orientation etc etc so many options are there so this is basically Jupiter 0.1.7 so for all of you guys out there who are trying to install Linux over your AMD A10 machine just go through this particular version of Linux this is Zubuntu 13.04 it's an XFCE version of Ubuntu so it's damn fast Linux and it's really too fast for your Linux desktop so here I had installed a uh, Conkey 
basically it's a sidebar which shows you the different configurations of your machine like how much CPU it's using what the time is your home root or swap memory at all and some CPU uses this Kazam it's basically what I am using for recording this particular review it's a screen capturing device this is network utility which shows you the current network uses and all so here as you can see there are so many uh, applications which basically Ubuntu comes with but I had installed some of them for myself like Genie is one of the great ID for PHP developers HTML you can code C C++ anything over it and it comes with an integrated terminal also I had also installed NetBeans IDE some two games small games are there here in the graphics section it is open to comes with GIMP image editor GTHUMB image viewer and this all a simple scanner or document viewer so for internet this one I had already installed chromium web browser but I prefer Firefox it already comes with it picked in I had installed for the chatting over internet messengers like it supports different messengers like gtalk yahoo msn and everything Woos I had used for downloading the tone and files basically you can use views and basically if you if your ISP internet service provider doesn't allows you to download torrent files from the internet using your internet you can actually use Woos and encrypt the communication between you your computer and the ISP so there are different multimedia devices multimedia software which I had installed VLC media player is one of the good media player DP player D music etc office I am using ABI word as a lightweight uh, word document processor generic as in calculation analysis and visualization of information it, it's basically used for that only some of the different system related applications basically this is Gigolo which is used to simply connect to your remote file systems uh, Jupyter I had already told you about task manager Ubuntu customization kit it means using this you can actually customize your Ubuntu CDs in the settings manager you can actually see there are some different things like in the windows manager tweaks if you want your laptop to look very good if you want the screen like have some good uh, theming of your <laughs> uh, linux machine you can use this particular thing it's a compositor it actually makes your windows transparent and all gives you some wobbly CIF VI uh, UI effects uh, there are some other things also so here you can see I had already installed the AMD Catalyst control, uh, control center so you can also use that there is boot Bluetooth manager also mouse and touchpad you can change this grub customizer I basically use for customizing my boot menu because I use two operating system over my laptop one is Windows 7 another one is this boot repair this is one of the greatest utility you can use for repairing your grub basically when you install Windows over Linux your bootloader will definitely fucks up so to repair that use this boot boot repair it's there on the Ubuntu site have a view of it have a look at it and those who are wondering of how to repair their boot configurations or their operating system missing out there they can use this everything is mentioned there no need to do a lot of googling here are, the, here are some other softwares you can use so basically this is running very well I am using since from past two weeks I am using this particular Linux distribution it works quite well no crashes at all and it's actually lightweight also so thank you for watching my review I will be get back to you all again if I find anything more interesting out of it thank you